hi guys welcome back to my channel if you are new here please do not forget to click on the subscribe button also do not forget to click on the notification button and kindly tell a friend tell a friend tell a friend about dami inspire youtube channel welcome on today's topic i will be talking about how to be a great female boss i mean how to be a great female boss that you are that i am okay guys let's just go right into it now we know that being a boss comes with a lot of work you know you have targets you have to motivate your team members you know a lot of things that you have to do you know you have to stretch yourself you have to stretch yourself being the boss you have to be the one leading so but then being a female boss i think that a lot of us that have found ourselves in this position we have to cultivate some certain habits now so i'll be sharing five tips on how to be a great female boss now number one on my list is that you have to show empathy you have to be a people person you can be a people person without being a people pleaser now this is very important you have to care about your staff care about your teammates your team members you know your colleagues at work you have to be involved genuinely involved in their life now you have to be compassionate you have to show concerns you know if you notice that they are moody you know they are not being active you know that someone that is very good and highly intelligent that has great potential is just lacking behind in his work you know ask what the challenge is there might be some issues that is unable to discuss with anybody but you have to show empathy you have to notice these things about people you know notice their strengths their weaknesses you know be concerned about them be a people person without being a people pleaser show empathy show compassion towards your staff towards your colleagues and towards your team members okay that's very important number two on my list is that you have to be you be you be female you are a female god has created you to be a female we are uniquely wonderfully and beautifully made so we are different from the male so do not act like a male boss act like a female boss you know your style the way you talk your tone your dressing your personality the way you smile the way you speak all these things are important and unique to you so you're trying to change yourself to be more masculine you know to act tough you know it, it, it it's not good it doesn't work that way you can be tough you can be firm at the same time you can be a female you can be firm and you can be a female at the same time you can command respect and command love at the same time so be a female do not think that now that you are a boss you have to change your personality you have to act like a man to get the kind of respect or the kind of results you want from your team members no that is entirely not necessary and is entirely not true so you have to be female you have to be you you have to be your unique self that god has created you to be because most likely part of the reason why you got that job or you got that position because of your personality of your unique personality so this is very important number one you have to show empathy number two you have to be you be the female that you have been created to be now number three on our list is that you have to avoid pride yes there is every possibility that yes you know power intoxicates and then you become boastful you become proud you know of your accomplishments yes it's very possible but i'm saying that you have to consciously and ensure that you're checking yourself to avoid pride you know now do not become too high and mighty that no one can talk to you no one can approach you you know you have this wall around yourself then maybe you separate yourself you give yourself only one office at the extreme you know before they come to your office they have to tiptoe you know nobody can say anything around you you are very proud no i have nothing against having your own personal office space no it's very important but i'm just saying that don't build a wall around yourself that nobody can talk to you so you now become the kind of person that they will not find talking to the receptionist oh you are now too big to talk to the receptionist or you are too big to talk to the driver or the security you know you're not too big that your colleagues cannot talk to you you're not forming hierarchy oh we're not on the same level i'm your boss i'm your manager no do not act that way avoid being proud because the bible says pride comes before a fall so do not be proud now number four on my list is that you have to be a team player you have to be a team player you have to communicate do not be the boss that always keeps information to him or to, to herself don't be the boss that keeps information to herself. Don't know all the information. 
ensure that you clearly communicate to your teammates, to your staff, to your colleagues. Explain to them in clear, simple words what you want them to do, how you want them to do it, and why you think it should be done the way you want it to be done. Very simple. And they will understand and then they can run with your vision. But if you keep all this information to yourself and you assume that they would understand or they would know, or you just give them an assignment and you're not involved in the assignment, you're not coming to check how the assignment is going, then you are heading for failure. I understand that this will also help in reducing you micromanaging your, your staff or your team members because you want to totally trust them. So it's very important that yes, that you are a team player, get involved in the activities that they are doing. You know, even if you give them a task, a task to do, you have to just help supervise them and ensure that you are doing that task with them, like checking in time after time to just ensure that they are on track this is different from micromanaging you are not micromanaging them but you are being a team player you are supporting them being a team player and you are communicating effectively and so they would easily communicate back to you so when there are challenges or there are issues they can easily call you oh man this task this is what is going on this is my challenge what can i do what would you advise i do so it's easy to build a great team when you yourself you are a team player now number five the last but not the least is that you have to mentor mentor train and coach rather than control rather than control these people you are trying to control them but no mentor them train them coach them Anything worth doing well is worth training for. So you can train your staff members, you can train your team members, you can train your colleagues, you know, you can bring in external trainers to train them, or you can also have internal training sessions. Ensure that they, you have constant and consistent training amongst your team, amongst your staff, and amongst your colleagues. This would help you. It would highly reduce micromanaging and then you will not be controlling them, but instead you are mentoring them, you are teaching them, and then you are leading them. And if you put all these five tips together, just know that you're going to have an effective team and you're going to be a great leader, a great female boss. All right, guys, that's all for today. If you have any comments, kindly put your comments in the comment section below. If you want to talk about any other thing, you can also kindly put it in the comment section thank you guys till i see you next time bye stay inspired